simply, I like what they say, those, those songs that said, I don't know what you came to do, but I come to praise the Lord. I come to have a good time in the church. And I heard one preacher said, our ancestors, and I won't call them our ancestors because I, that, I'm just that old, but our people who are uh, our people who, when they had to work in the fields, when they had to go clean somebody's house all week long, Pastor Terry Anderson said that. He said they would be called boy and gal all week long. He said, but when Sunday morning came, they put their best on, got, got in their calls and buggies and whatever they had to do, and would come to church and give God the glory. And I remember my father having 11 children, had one of those uh, bobtail truck, and he would put them in the back, and, and, and I would sit in the front because I was a baby. And my sister would be embarrassed, but we would go to church in that big truck every Sunday morning. And I'm grateful for God, for my parents that brought us to church. And here we are today. Look why. It's a reason why. It's a reason why. So we're grateful this morning. We have, we have so much to be grateful for. We have a lot to be prayed for. But we are glad to be here. And I told some people on the prayer line that I got a, I got a praise report. And went, what is your praise report? I woke up this morning. Somebody help me here? Amen. 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 Let's not forget, people of God, that uh, we still have Bible study. Watch your text. Uh, we'll see maybe if I, uh, how bad how bad our blessing going to be Wednesday. I call it a blessing. They say we're supposed to get a lot of rain. And I call it a blessing because we haven't been getting any. Amen. So the prayer line, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thank you, brothers. Thank you, brothers, for coming on the prayer line. We need more of the brothers to come. Continue to pray, pray uh, for our president and our governor. We have outgoing governor. Pray for our outgoing mayor that we have. God bless us. Uh, pray for our new police chief. But I want to say, but most of all, pray for our sick. Uh, right now, uh, we have some people that are sick in our church. Pray for our uh, minister. Uh, pray for Sister Wynn. And uh, pray for Sister James. She, she's struggling right now. She's Praise sitting in here. Maybe, We're maybe grateful, she's grateful for my young people in this church. I love y'all very much. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Let's, uh, 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 Thanksgiving is coming up. Uh, let's, let's bless somebody else instead of just our household. Amen. And if it's somebody down the street by your house, you want to go, you ought to go do something for them also. Uh, uh, Sister, Sister Barry is doing something in the mission department. If she asks you to do something, please support the mission department. You, know, you hear? Maybe you can say, Sister Barry, I can't. Uh, do this, do that, but I can give you some money to help to help you with that. And uh, yesterday was the uh, Veterans Day. Uh, we recognize, they recognize the veterans nationwide. Uh, next Sunday, the men's ministry will recognize the veterans in our church. So uh, we're looking forward to that next Sunday. Uh, uh, again, we say it this way, thank you for your service, and we are grateful for it. Amen. And grateful for all of you, uh, so y'all pray. Pray for Pastor. Pray for the Lord to prop this body up. Amen. I need the strength. Amen. Sometimes I sit down, I can't get up. It just it's, it's, You know how it is when your motor starts slow? But as you keep going, your motor pick up. Well, yeah, that's, what I, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. God bless, God bless you. you. Uh, the book of St. Luke, chapter 11. Uh, our children ministry is in the rear. Again, we want to uh, support Sister uh, Jackie and Sister Ford uh, as they work hard with those children. Amen. So uh, uh, we want you to turn your Bibles to the book of St. Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11, verses 14 to 23. And y'all watch your phones when minister texts you those scriptures. That's the scriptures I'm going to be preaching on.
It's easier when you love the Lord. When you know him in the pardon of your sin. It's easier to sing those kind of songs. Especially when God has been good to you. Even, even better than we could ever, 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 ever be to ourselves. Amen. Do I have a witness up in here that can say that God has been better to me than I've been to myself? you to pray for somebody else all week long. Amen. It's like when you throw a ball against the wall, the ball comes back to you. Now is your turn to be blessed because you blessed somebody else. If you didn't do it, then you can do it this week and pray for somebody else. My list was so long that I kept forgetting people. Because I like to call people out by their name. And now I can concentrate. I want to concentrate on myself. But I'm going to be faster than praying for somebody else. Intensely. There is power in prayer. Fasting and praying. The prayer of a righteous person. availeth much. I may not be righteous, but that's one that lives in me. That's righteous. His name is Jesus. So I'm going to depend on him. And we're going to move some mountains. Amen? Cast out some demons. Heal the sick. Get the trouble out of trouble. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what we're going to pray. I, I, I think I got to pray for myself a little bit this week. Amen. It seemed while I was praying for somebody else, everything else was going wrong. Amen. <laughs> but I trust God. If you got time right now, which can I bother you to open your Bibles or to look on the screen for chapter 11 of the book of St. Luke? There's something going on in that chapter. And the scripture and says, and he was casting out a demon, a devil. It was dumb. And it came to pass when the devil was going out, the dumb spoke. <laughs> he spake, and the people wondered. And some of them said, he cast out devils through Belzebub, the chief of the devils. And then there were others tempting him, sort of him, a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, mm -hmm. and a house divided against his a house falleth. If Satan also divide against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? It's a question now, because you said that I cast out devils through Belzebub. And if I by Belzebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judge. But if I with the finger of God cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come to you. When a strong man own keep it his palace, his goods are in peace. But when one stronger than him comes, he shall come upon him and overcome him and take him, take from him all his armor wherein he trusted and divide his spawn. Lastly, he that is not with me is against me. And he that, get, he that gather not with me is certainly scattered. Let the church say amen. amen. I'll try to find a a title for that subject, and I was looking around, and one of the preaching friends, uh, the question comes, 
How do we deal with negative, critical people that got a negative, critical spirit? We want to talk about negative and critical spirits. Amen? It is, it is, it is uh, spiritually or character, characteristics of us to be positive about everything because we share the good news of Jesus Christ. And as a child of God, you ought to be positive. But you can't do that with a critical tone. I know everybody has got a problem. We all got issues. Amen. There will be sin that we have to commit, confront. There are issues that we have to address. But our spirit doesn't have to be, don't have to be negative. Amen. Amen? Uh, it do not. Now, Pastor, how we, do we deal with negative, critical spirits? Well, number one, when, when, when they'll come about, about, you ought to know when they're going to come. Most of the time, they come when you're trying to do right. That's the first thing you need to understand. Secondly, Brother King, that, 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 that we ought to never let the devil shut us up. Amen? Amen? And then thirdly, uh, 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 deal with these negative and critical people because they got an agenda. So if you understand that they have an agenda, then you can deal with them. And lastly, whose side are you on? Amen? And you see, we need to understand what's God, God I believe it was a purpose, uh, uh, on purpose that God had me mistakenly to read that first verse. When the chapter opens up, Luke opens that chapter up, said the Lord was praying. And then he gets halfway, almost halfway in the chapter, one quarter of the chapter. He said, while he was casting out a demon. Somebody help me here. And he said what kind of demon it was. He said it was a demon that was mute. And I, and I came to understand, Sister Ke Keisha, the man was not mute, but the demon was mute. And, and, and I got proof. If you look in the Bible, it says that after he cast the demon out, the man started talking. Amen, somebody? Uh, and we got to understand that when uh, 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 that silence, someone says silence is violence. When you see something and don't say anything, somebody help me, you are participating in that situation. Amen? Uh, 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 there are times when you need to speak up, and there are times you need to shut up. Somebody help me here? Solomon says there's a season for everything. There are times when you ought to open your mouth, but there are times when you need to keep your mouth shut. Amen? But there are times when you, you should praise God. You should give him glory. You should say thank you. But you are not able to. That's because the devil is not allowing you to praise God. How, how does he do that? God has been good to you. Everything is fine with you. Amen, somebody? But the devil got you believing that everything is not all right. He'll shift your gear when you should be thinking about good things in your life. The devil got you thinking about bad things. Somebody help me here? Ain't God all right? Uh, a minister was here the, the other day. She got a little ill, and, 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 I, and I knew what was wrong with her. I knew her sinus was bothering her. But a day or two later, the devil came to me. Maybe your wife had a stroke. And, and the devil something, y'all. It's, 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 his, his purpose is to make you miserable. His purpose is to confuse you. His purpose is, most of all, to shut you up and to shut you down. Lord have mercy. I, I, I feel like it. I feel him. I feel him. At times when we're in church, we don't say anything. Even if God been good to us. When we in church, we be quiet because for some reason we worry about something. Don't worry about it. Don't be afraid of it. If you are afraid, tell the Lord. Let me tell you something. As your pastor, I don't hesitate to sit. Tell the Lord, I'm afraid. I'm confused. 
I don't know what to do. Lord, give me wisdom and understanding. Amen, somebody? There are times God got to remind me where he brought me from. He said, what you're going through there now not, is not compared to what you've been through. I don't, I don't think y'all hear me on this side. Can, 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 I, can, I, can somebody on this side help me? Pastor, if you knew, like I know what the Lord has done for me and where God has brought me from, I should have been there. Somebody on this side gonna help me here. I should have been dead and sleeping in my grave. Don't let the devil shut you up. Don't let the devil shut you down. Don't let him stop you. Don't let him confuse him. You stand up to him and tell him in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. Be gone from me. Somebody help me here. That devil was, 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 was trying, was kept that man silent. But God had him to speak up. Help me somebody. I was wondering what he said after that. He must have said, bless you, Jesus. You must be the son of God. Why are you saying that, Pastor? Because right after that, somebody tried to shut Jesus down. Every time you try to do right, that's when they attack you. Somebody help you here? It is not, help me y'all. It is not your success. Help me somebody that's bothering them is their lack of success. Somebody help, no, y'all didn't hear that, y'all missed that. Somebody help me here. It's not your blessing, but it's a lack of their blessing. They're jealous of you. So the first thing they gotta do, they got to shut you down. And how they shut you down, they start being negative. Hallelujah. Y'all going to pray with me for a little while? There was two kinds of people in there. One of them was negative. The other one was critical. Somebody help me here. The first one said, don't worry about him. He is of the devil. He getting his order from the devil. Somebody help me here. It is Belzebub. Somebody help. There, there is a king of Israel. When, 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 when he got sick. He sent his people to another place, to another nation, and tell them, to, and he is called Belzebub. He said to him, tell him, I tell him to pray to him that I am sick. And when they went there, the prophet, I think Elijah, met them on the way. God told them, you go tell them, is there not God in Israel that you got to go to another God to heal him and people of God y'all don't, don't want to hear me we do the same thing we overlook God to go to somebody else to get healed ain't oh, oh, y'all not talking to me amen somebody uh, uh, I can't think of, I can't think of her name but you go to her help me somebody to read your poem Somebody help me here. That, that's a spirit, y'all. She's got a spirit, y'all, that's not of God. Did not God say, I'm not going to leave you, never shall I forsake you? Why should you go somewhere, somebody else to look for your future? God says, I have a plan for your life. And it's not a plan to help you, but to bless you. So why should I be looking at my horoscope? Somebody help me here. Why should I look at my horoscope? God's got my future. Ain't God all right? It looks bad. It seems bad. It feels bad, but it is good. Y'all missed that? Somebody help me here. Jesus, uh, well, the, the negative people that watch them, how they say, they try to convince you that you are not who you are. Y'all hear me here? You, you, you not of God. You of the devil. Somebody help me here. I'm not acting like the devil, but you say I'm of the devil. You said that I take my order from the chief of the devil, who is the prince of this world. The Bible says he's the Lord of flesh. Somebody help me here. He rules your flesh. 
That's why Paul says that you are fighting here. The spirit of God is fighting against the spirit of the flesh. Not so much the spirit of the devil, but our spirit. Ain't God all right? That's when these other people step in. Here come the critical people talking about, oh, show us a sign. And Jesus says in that, in that book right there, in the chapter, an uh, evil generation look for a sign. Can I stomp on somebody's feet here? Stop looking for a sign. Faith is the substance of what? Things what? And the evidence of things what? Back it up again. The evidence of things what? Say it again. The evidence of things what? Then why are you looking for a sign? Come on, y'all. Why are you looking for a sign when faith is evidence of things not seen? I, I can't see it, but I know I got it. I can't touch it, but I know I got it. I can't feel it, but I know I got it. I know the Lord will make a way somehow. Help me, y'all, because he is a way maker. You got to believe that. Don't talk that talk and don't believe that talk. Don't talk that talk and don't walk that talk. God is a way maker. Now stop. I, I, I'm not no prophet, but I'll tell the truth. Somebody in here right now, you need a breakthrough. You don't run into a wall. You cannot see your deliverance on the other side of that wall. Somebody help me here? Uh, uh, but, 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 but Scott, this is the way I am. When I'm on the highway, if a big truck pulls in the front of me and I can't see what's going on in the front of me, I got to get out of that lane. Somebody help me here? That's the way you are right now. You got something blocking your view. And your blessing is on the other side. And, and you got to change lane when God is saying, stay in your lane. If you trust me and stay in your lane, I'm going to take care of you. You may not be able to see it, but I already made a way. Somebody help me here. I'm already opening doors. I'm already working with people. I'm already working with that. There, there, there's somebody that's on the other side that's waiting for you to. Lord, I'm about to shout. They're waiting for you to get to that point. Help me, somebody. Where they're ready to help you because God has already prepared. Ain't God all right, y'all? He prepares people to help deliver you. Somebody help me here? But they accuse him of being a devil. And they accuse him, help me somebody, to give them a sign. Help me somebody. I don't have to prove nothing to you. Help me somebody. I know what God has done for me. I know what God has pr promised me. I don't have to prove nothing to you. Somebody help me here. I know God is working in my life. So I don't have to prove, prove anything to you. I'm not talking about, oh, prove to me that God is alive. I don't have to prove nothing to you. My seminary teacher said, you the one who don't believe. I believe. You the one, the burden of proof is upon you. You prove to me that God does not exist. Well, if God is real, why is that child sick? That ain't nothing. Amen? Uh, he told me my baby was sick. I told you uh, 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 for, for uh, uh, what's, that? what's that holiday just passed? Uh, 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 what day? Halloween. Halloween. Halloween, he had an Iron Man outfit on. And my wife said, the baby not doing good. I said, well, he's not Iron Man. Somebody help me here. Is that not the truth? You're not Iron Man. You're going to get sick. You're not Superman. You're not Superwoman. You're going to get sick. You're not Catwoman. Help me, somebody. There are times you can't climb that mountain to climb up the walls no more because your hip is hurting and your knee is hurting. You not cat woman. Help me somebody. It's going to catch up with you. My, my favorite cat woman, I don't care what they say, Haley Berry. Michelle Pfeiffer can't walk like Haley Berry. 
Somebody help me here. That sister had a walk on her. They both can climb the wall, but, 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 but she couldn't walk like Haley Berry. Uh, to, to me, she was the best capped woman. But there, was a, there came a time, I bet you right now, if you ask her, could she do the thing she did in that movie? She'll tell you in a minute, not no more. Somebody help me here? You used to look like Raquel, Raquel Welch. Now you look like the Golden Girl. Uh, uh, don't get away, brothers. You. All right? Now you look like the Golden Bachelor. Come on, y'all. Ain't God all right? You, 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 people criticize you and talk about you because you're trying to be right with God. Ain't God all right? Jesus said, let me tell you a story. Somebody help me here. Ain't God all right? He said, how could a house that's divided against itself, it will not stand? Because it is an un, it is a divided house. We need to be careful, y'all, especially in America. We are a house divided against itself. Just before October 7, when Hamas came through the fence, Israel was a divided nation. While they had their mind somewhere else, Hamas snuck in. That's the way the devil is most of the time. When we are divided against one another, the devil sneaks in. Somebody help me here. Didn't the Lord say, be watchful? I think Sister Gloria said it this morning, put on the whole armor of God. And whatever you do, you must stand. But before you to stand, you got to be together. Get yourself together and then get together with somebody else. Where two or three are gathered, Jesus says, I'm in the midst of it. If two of us agree on one thing, there is power before the eyes of God. Unity, y'all. Oneness, y'all. Ain't God all right? Can I help you now? How could Jesus be in three places at one time? Somebody help me here. How can he be everywhere at one time? Because God, help me somebody, Jesus is God. God is Jesus. Jesus is the Holy Ghost. God sits in heaven. Jesus sits on his right hand side. But the Holy Ghost, who is the Holy Spirit, is everywhere. Ain't God all right? That's how he can be everywhere at the same time. That's how he can hear everybody's prayer at the same time. That's how he can bless me and bless you here and there. Because God is everywhere. Jesus says, you got to be together. Lost Street, as long as we stay together. Somebody help me here. I know we got some critical spirits in our church. I know we got some negative spirit. Help me somebody in our church. I know we got some negative people that hangs on our job, that hangs in our house. We even got some friends. You got to watch who's your friend. Can I give you a test? Ain't God all right? Everything you, every time you try to do something, that friend say, I love you, but you can't do that. They got some negative idea. They got some discouraging idea. I got to close, y'all, but I can't stand some negative people. I can't stand some critical people. You know why, Sister Gloria? They're always looking for wrong. Ain't God all right? Somebody help me here. I'm about to step on some people's toes. I, I don't care if they out there and listen to me online. Somebody help me here. You put on your best 
outfit. Hallelujah, somebody. They look at you saying you look good, but I see a little string on your coat. I see a little danger. Come, that, that, come on, y'all. Let me brush it off. Ain't God all right? I thought I was looking good, but if you look for wrong, you're going to find wrong. Somebody help me here? But if you look for good, you're going to find good. Ain't God all right? Jesus said, if I'm of the devil, who your sons are? He said, you got some sons that's casting out demons. Ain't God all right? They must be of the devil. I'm going to let them be your judge. Help me somebody. That's why people can't stand you. Because you're living for the Lord. Ain't God all right? They see all of their wrong in you. Ain't God all right? When you're doing right, somebody help me here. It makes them look bad. Ain't God all right? When you're being successful, it makes them be looking down and out. So what they got to do is tear you down. Ain't God all right? But the Bible says, be not weary in well-doing. You just keep on doing good. Ain't God all right? Don't worry about those people. Hallelujah. Who's on your side? Who made you? Who woke you up this morning? Who gave you the activities of your limb? You tell them, I ain't worried about you. Somebody help me here. I ain't studying about you. God will. God have took care of me. Ain't God all right? In matter of fact, somebody gonna help me here. I'll have. God will bless me through negative people. God will bless me through critical people because every time Somebody help me here. They try to tear me down. The Lord keep raising me. I, I, I don't think you help you. Can I bless you? There is a word in the Bible that says a righteous man will fall seven times. But he gets up again. Ain't God all right? I need some help up in here. Is there anybody on that first time? Is there anybody on number three? Is there anybody that's on number six? Somebody help me here. If you're on number seven, the Bible says seven is completion. That means I ain't gonna fall no more. Ain't God
Brother Sidney was going to church with his daddy. His daddy was, say, oh, that preacher can't preach. That deacon can't pray. That choir can't sing. Them people in that church ain't no, ain't no good. His dad, his little boy, watch him. When he came to the offering table, he put one dollar in the offering. The little boy, when he got home, he said, Daddy, what do you expect for a dollar? Y'all miss that. In other words, you got your money's worth. Come on, brother Ma. The more he gives, the more you give, the more he gives to you. What do you expect for your money's worth? What do you expect? A little praise, a little prayer, a little praise brings about a little blessing. When you don't praise, you remember the blind man? He said, Jesus, thou son of David, bless me. The people told him to be quiet. The more they told him to be quiet, the louder he got. So the more these critical, negative people, somebody help me here, talks about you, you ought to get louder. Somebody help me here? If you knew like I know what the Lord has done for me, somebody help me here. Amen? You tell the devil to shut up. I got a reason to praise God. God been too good to me. Amen? Say it this way, uh, Sister Nisha, it says that we could, uh, say the street way, you could have caught a bullet. You could, you could have caught a bullet. But you didn't. Minister driving on I-10, all at once, the driver's side window just shattered. She called me. I was at church. She said she was over there on Franklin and 610. And I called Brother Green. He, he was in his truck. I said, go see about her because I can't get there in time. They got a young man pulled on the side of her and said, baby, I saw it. Somebody shot your way at your car. She said, I, he said, I saw him. He said, it turned and went down that way. Could have caught a bullet. But God. Somebody help you here? I said, Lord have mercy. I said, God, my, the window shattered on my car. He said, what's wrong with you, man? I just saved your wife's life. I said, I know, Lord. I keep asking God every day to cover them. She was laying in the bed and she said, why are you not, why are you not sleeping? I said, because I've been praying on you all night long. That's what you're supposed to do. I want you to read your Bible about Jesus' life and find out how many times he slept. When he was not teaching and preaching, guess what he was doing? He was praying. They say before dawn, at 3 o'clock in the morning, I assume, Jesus was praying. While you are sleeping, that same Jesus is sitting at the right-hand side of God and praying for you, asking God to take care of you. What you going to worry about? 